Hello and welcome to the beautiful Townside Quay in Cornish Foy, if I pronounced that correctly. Probably the pinnacle in British sea fishing is to head out and catch a blue shark. They're amongst our shoreline probably five months of the year. So we're getting on board the Borluan 2 with skipper Dan Gummo to try and catch ourselves a few. Let's get out there and see what we can do. So before we head out and target those big blue sharks, we need to equip ourselves with enough bait to be able to do so. So, Dan's located a good shoulder mackerel. We're lowering some feathers down, some relatively light gear, having a bit of fun and catching our fill of mackerel. So then go out, use them as hook baits and target those blue shark a lot further out. It's great fun. Basically, you're just lowering your lead to a depth, jigging the feathers up and down, the mackerel are pounding those flashing feathers and we're just reeling them in. When we've got enough, as soon as we've got enough, then will take us out to the proper fishing grounds where hopefully we'll do battle with some first class blue shark. Anyone can catch mackerel when they're mackerel fishing, but not anyone can catch a pollock on a feather. I'm well happy with that. Lovely little specimen. I'm going to get him back. He's got all the chances to survive and swim through those sharks. Come on. Fishing at any sort of distance from the shore, done um, bits and pieces around the shoreline for mackerel and bits and pieces like that. We've never been out got fishing for big fish. Um, just fingers crossed that I want to see one on the boat. I want to see one of the boys back one. I'm not bothered whether it's me particularly, but you know, to see one of them, you know, 50, 60 pounder on the boat, it's going to be impressive. It's uh, massively different to what I'm used to. So out of the comfort zone a bit. I'm past the seasickness. I just want to see a fish. So Dan has officially got us onto the Blue Shark fishing grounds, which is around about 20 miles offshore. Now we're just drifting. Dan's just getting the chum bags over the side to create a scent trail, which will hopefully attract sharks in. Soon we're going to get the rods out, vary the depths on floats, and hopefully one of the hook baits will go. We can get into some blue sharks. Fingers crossed, anyway. Oh my god, if it was in smell -o vision we wouldn't be able to broadcast it mate, I'm telling you. There's a reason I'm off my feet on this bench and that is that smell. Whiskers mixed with, oh I don't know what. That is horrendous. I hope those sharks like it. Fish on! 
Well, I can only say we've been out the best part of okay. half an hour. And James said, I thought he was joking, that he'd seen one show on the old uh, middle float. And this was taken on the furnace float out in the chum line. So fingers crossed, the chum works. And we can get a few fish going. A baby shark! Baby shark! Do, 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 do. Here we go, shark number one. Half an hour in the water. Dan the man's produced the goods. A 25 pound coal boat blue specimen of a shark. Gonna get him back, hopefully get a few more and get the lads some. Yeah, what? So I'm very fortunate to have gone out pretty much five years on the bounce, once a year to have a good go at blue shark fishing with Dan on the ball lure too. Um, as species go, they pull the socks off anything in fresh water. Uh, they're incredible fighters. Uh, there obviously is a distinction between smaller fish and bigger fish. The smaller fish are quite lively, they move quite quick, but generally you can get them in relatively hassle free. The bigger fish, just like a big carp, sound, hold their own weight in the tide and they are a genuine real, real tussle. I don't think there's any fish in the British Isles, fresh water or salt water, with the exception of maybe tuna that are cropping up, that can pull any better than them. They're a brilliant sport fish. Dan takes the best of care of them and makes sure that A, he not only puts us on fish every year that we've been out, but also that they go back in absolute mean condition. So, in terms of blue shot fishing, a once in a year treat, but a mega thumbs up from me. Go on, Mr. Hill. You in? Yeah, you bring in yeah. another shot for us. He's on. He's on? Yeah, he's on. Oh, you like good, mate? Yeah, it's the first time I've ever caught a shark, so. Feels. Yeah, it feels good. So we're approaching three quarters of the way through the trip really and I'm absolutely chuffed that James and Stuart have managed to get amongst their first ever blue shark, in fact their first ever shark capture in the British Isles. So brilliant result, we've had three sharks so far, we're hoping the shark rods are still out, that we get amongst a slightly bigger specimen and also hopefully if we can, one more shark each. In the meantime, while we're waiting for those shark rods to go off, we've been fishing for the whiting and mackerel using feathers and small strip baits. That's kept us entertained. But it's a beautiful day, it's a stunning boat, and who knows what the next few hours could bring. Don't know if it's a full house, mate. Three, that is good going, mate, that. You're the whiting window.
that is the rod that's produced every single bar thus far. The furthest rod out and the deepest. So, let's hope Mr. Lewis Porter can get his first shot. That is set absolutely to perfection. Yes, Porter. Louis Pete, full out in it. Good man, last hour buzz. Oh, Just for the full out, the grand slam. And if I'm behind the camera, you know it must be going well. Let's let Dan deal with this and get out of the way. That's one each for everyone now. I'm mega happy, I didn't expect to get involved today, but. Over the moon, my first little blue. Well done, mate, let's get him back. Or is it just launching there? Come on! last hour technically mine but i reckon it counts for all of us boys what an incredible fish dan a massive thank you for today what a fish to end on mate the ball and two what a boat boy what a place boys great trip okay. let's get him back and let's try and recover mega yeah.